Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, me and Caleb both have to go to the eye doctor and um, we're starting with a new eye doctor. So, um, it's our first appointment with her. Um, that's why I have no makeup on because the last time I went to the eye doctor, they dilated my eyes, which they do every time. And I got mascara all over my face. So I was just like, I'm not gonna do that this time. <laughs> so I'm not wearing any. Um, but yeah, we're going to the eye doctor and um, as a diabetic, you have to get your eyes checked every year by a specialist. Um, but anyway, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll get started. Sting and I'm sorry. Yeah, huh? Do you see me now? Yes, I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> it only gets a little blurry after a while. So we just had our um, exams done with the nurse and got our eyes dilated and mine is starting to take effect. Caleb just got his done, so he's um he's still fine. Um but my vision is starting to go a little bit blurry, so. Mom is still filling out paperwork. <laughs> She's been filling out paperwork <laughs> for quite a while now. Um, mm. But yeah, we're about to see the doctor. That's not. <laughs> so we're about to see the doctor and uh, we'll see what all she says. What we're doing here is this is gonna be an evaluation of the front part of your eye which is like the, the iris and the pupil and all that. So you'll just look short of right there. You can blink as much as you need. One of the things we look for, even in younger diabetics, you can actually start a little bit of cataract, but I don't see any sign of that with you, which that's the reason for part of the dilation too, is to look not only carefully at the retina, but the lens as well. No other issues at all. Okay, now we're gonna look in the back. This is gonna be really bright because I'm literally using my lens to look all the way to the very back part of your eye called the <laughs> retina. But this is the part that your endocrinologist definitely wants to know. And so far, I do not see any signs of dye hemorrhages. Good. You're gonna really see spots after that. <laughs> yeah, that was very bright. <laughs> very bright. Look at your this here. Good. Very, very good. You can go ahead and sit back. Thank you so much. I'll let you get your vision back. So here is the right eye. Optic mm -hmm. nerve light I was just giving Brenda. And this is also the, um, the central part of the retina I was looking at with the lens. But there's a whole peripheral part that is almost better viewed with the photography. And so now you'll have this documentation, you know, forever. These are your eyelashes. <laughs> you got in the way a little bit right there. But if you're going to have dot blot hemorrhages, they're typically around these blood vessels. This is a vein, this is an artery, um, and this, uh, this is the macula area, and this is again, optic nerve. But typically what starts to happen is, um, if you're gonna have some changes due to diabetes, it's just like you'll get these little tiny red dots right around the, um, the blood vessels, and they're called dot hemorrhages. Um, sometimes, you know, also the vessels can have these little out pocketings called microaneurysms, but I just really don't see any sign 
of that, which is great. So very, very healthy. Okay, so we got done with the doctor a little bit ago, and now me and mom are on our way to get something to eat, and um, we're gonna go to Joanne Fabrics because I need some more yarn for some projects I'm working on. First of all, I want to show you all this seat belt cover that mom got me for Christmas that I've been using. It's super, super nice. It's off of Amazon, and I'll try to link it down below for you guys so that you can check it out because it's really awesome. It definitely makes you feel more safer if you're ever in an accident. Um, some really exciting news that happened today at the doctor is um, I asked Dr. Laney if she could just, you know, uh, say something on the YouTube video about, you know, why it's so important to get your eyes checked as a diabetic and what the dangers are and stuff. And she told me that I could come into her office on Thursday and do an interview with her in her office and like she had that idea and stuff so um that was really exciting so um next week will be that video and interview with um dr Catherine laney she's um what is her term what kind of eye doctor is she i have no idea i think ophthalmologist she's an ophthalmologist i think um but yeah, so I'm really excited about that video, and so make sure that you tune into that because that'll be very informative um, about eye care and diabetes. Um, I'm going to end this right now and go to another clip of a little update about my cellulitis. So, we'll see you all later. Okay guys, so I just wanted to make a quick little video on an update of my cellulitis. We just got back from Joanne's. As you can see, I got this humongo bag of yarn. I mean, there's just... There's yarn all down in there. I mean, it just goes for miles. Yeah, I kind of like crocheting. I made this right here. This is gonna be a Baby Yoda or a Grogu um, lovey for a baby. Um, but I really like crocheting. So we went to Joann's to get some more yarn for some projects that I'm working on. Um, but anyway, so I was gonna show y'all my foot. Um, I'll show you that real quick and then kind of give you a little bit of an update. So as you can see, it is still pretty red. It's not as red as it was, but um, it's definitely still red. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like though. So I can't remember what point I left off with in the last video that y'all saw of an update with the cellulitis, but I ended up going to the doctor a second time. And if you've already heard this, sorry, I can't remember what I've told y'all. I ended up going to the doctor a second time after I had been on the antibiotics for nine days and it was getting worse. It had spread into a second toe. So we went back to the doctor and um, he put me on a second round of antibiotics that, are, that were stronger than the amoxicillin that I was on. And so um, you would think that it would be totally cleared up because I take my last dosage tonight, actually. And um, it's still there. So mom thinks that we are just gonna leave it for like a day or two and see what it does. And then if it gets worse, go back to the doctor. Um, but I'm not sure. She, th she says that she thinks it's looking pretty good. The swelling has gone down a lot, um, but it's just still red. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. It's not bothering me anymore. It was bothering me. It wasn't really hurting all that bad unless I like curled my toes. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video because I'm excited about that. Hopefully that will be very informative for y'all. Um, I was really excited that she thought of that and was willing to do that for me. So um, stay tuned for next week and I hope y'all enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends if you want to and comment down below. Hi. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Bye.